Welcome to our lecture online. So let's say you're given two functions, they're nonlinear functions, and you're supposed to find the solution, in other words, the places where the two functions cross. And let's say one of them is a circle and the other one is a hyperbola. How many solutions can you expect? And it turns out there's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of different possibilities. In other words, if we have a situation that looks like this, then you'd be looking for four solutions. But it could be that the situation is like this, where now you have two places where they cross and one location where they meet. So now there's only three solutions. Or it could be like this, where there's only two places where the two functions cross. You have looking for two solutions. Or one place where the two just touch together. Now there's just one solution. Or it could be like this, and there's no solutions. So it turns out that even though you may be working with the same two uh, equations, same two looking equations, one for a hyperbola and one for a circle, that doesn't mean there are any solutions, or it could be there's four solutions. You may not know right away by looking at it what you will end up with. So that's why there's certain techniques that we'll have to follow to make it easier to figure out what we're dealing with and how to find those solutions. And that is how we need to do that. Zero solutions. I know I was thinking about that myself. Is about that four solutions though? Oh yeah, I definitely need an S over here. That's right. But I wasn't sure about that one. Is it zero solutions or is it zero solution? I think it's solutions. Oh, <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> All right. <clears throat>